So let's look at writing uh, an SMS message or a text message. Going to the side button here, we'll take the shortcut, the little envelope button. This brings us into the SMS menu. Now we have a, a, a range of options. We can uh, write a new SMS, uh, we can look at our received messages, uh, the messages we've sent, messages that are unsent. Um, it might be that your connection is uh, not available and so a message doesn't go through safely, or it may be that you just haven't completed writing the message. Uh, templates are short messages that you can option and pull out and send quickly, so hi, I'm busy, um, or I'll call you later, those sorts of things. Obviously you can delete your messages. Um, you can blacklist numbers, so if you're getting sales SMSs um, that you don't want, advertising ones, you can blacklist those um, so that they won't come through to the phone. But what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into write a new SMS, so we're going to select that with the green button, and you'll see that we're into the SMS screen. So we're going to write our SMS message, our text message. We're going to use the alphanumeric pad here. You'll see that each of these numbers has uh, between three or four letters on them. And in order to um, pick those, all we need to do is touch them and write a message. So we're going to say hello. So we're going to start out by finding the H, which obviously is on the number four button there. You'll see it's the second letter in. So two quick taps takes us to the H the same over here for the E, you'll notice at the top of the screen a little uh, line comes on, tells you where you are in that row and we're going to have a, an L. going to leave it a bait just until that vanishes so that we can do a repeat of the L, otherwise it will obviously take us on. There we go, hello. And you'll notice actually rather than hello, we've got hello, hell zero. So we're just going to um, take that back and actually hit the O, there we go, much better, down here, skip a uh, space, and then we're going to just quickly start writing our message. Now, if you want to add in a time, so um, in this case, again, using the alphanumeric pad, but you'll see that they actually come up. So we're going to meet at 5 o'clock, so you'll just see we scan through until the 5 comes up. Great, so we have our message. Now we have next, so what we want to do is we want to send that. So we're going to select that. Now we can either write in the number of the person we want to dial the message to, or we can search, so we go into our phone books, again selecting, there's John, so let's send this message to John, and immediately the SMS goes, and you can see the, uh, the cost of the text has been deducted from our account. So uh, a very strong vibration there, and a, a little boinging noise tells us that we have a message reply, and we'll just go to the green button here for show me that message. We have our new message here from John Smith and we're just going to select that message. As you see, okay, see you later. Now we can either come out of that message, which is fine if we want, just hit the back button, or we can use the down button here. That will give you a bit of information on when we got the message and a selection of options. We can call John, we can uh, go to the next message, we can reply to him, or we can delete the message. Well, we don't really need to keep that. It's not that important a message. We know we're meeting at 5, so we'll just select that one, and we'll go, yes, please, we'll delete that. Managing your SMS library is always a good thing to do. Um, you have a 100 messages that you can save on the phone, but that can fill up quite quickly if you're not careful. So if you do have less important messages, um, just quickly delete them. Uh, not a problem at all, but obviously if you get a, a really important message or something that you particularly want to keep, again, you can just save that for as long as you like on the phone memory.